legs limbered up. Does he plan to end this with a kick? Yo, what is good? Welcome back. How's everybody doing? Oh, yeah! It's your boy, Nerdame, here with another custom figure review, and today we are reviewing. Introducing! And please check out the custom artists who helped me put this figure together. Um, I will link them in the description as always. Um, I definitely recommend their work. I really appreciate it. Um, if it looks familiar, uh, they also helped me on my custom One Piece ulti figure. Uh, that's another dope character and another dope review. So please make sure you check that out. How beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate the help. They killed it on the head sculpt here. I am a huge fan of the Record of Ragnarok uh, anime and manga series. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, by the way, if you haven't seen, I think it's like a 12, 10 episode series on uh, Netflix. Uh, they also have a manga series. See for yourself. Mm -hmm. I'll do you a solid. I already covered the anime. No real spoilers. Um, but I've already covered it on my channel. So make sure you check out that video. It's a really dope video. It's pretty entertaining. I vouch for it myself. I got really good taste, by the way. Just putting that out there. Uh, as far as anime and manga, I'm a big nerd, obviously. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm keenly aware of that. Uh, but without a doubt, Adam has to be my favorite fighter so far um, out of the whole series. Correct. And the power's name is divine reflection. <laughs> well done. Well done. He enjoyed a life of comfort, basking in the endless bounty of nature. But these days would soon end. Um, but yeah, definitely make sure you check it out. I'm not going to spoil too much, um, but you're not going to really believe how the freaking fight is going to conclude. It's pretty awesome. Um, so I'm super hyped that we finally have him in figure form. Before we get into everything, as always, make sure you check out my um, Instagram page. Um, I post photos of my figures there before I review them here. And uh, you guys have been killing it lately. Uh, we are blowing up. Make sure you like my photos, follow my page, keep up with my stories. I got some dope announcements coming up fairly soon. And yeah. Now that was cool. Also, if you're looking for bonus Nerdame content, make sure you check out my TikTok page. I really appreciate it. You guys are pretty dope on there, pretty funny. I love seeing you guys in the comments. Um, I have some dope polls, uh, some bonus content, and... Mm, okay then. If you want to support your boy, I link my cash app in the description of all of my videos. Um, I also have an eBay page, so if you want to buy something Nerdame authentic, uh, make sure you check that out. I always have some fair prices and some dope things for sale on there. Obviously, make sure you subscribe here on the channel. Hit the bell notification so that way you guys can keep up to date with uh, everything coming up. Well done! Oh, you are good. I'm very impressed. And uh, comment below. If you have any suggestions on anything I should review in the future. And alrighty, let's get into it. And here he comes! Taking a closer look, and this figure came out dope. No fat. I think um, we really captured the likeness in the figure. Um, I'll go ahead and pop the head off. Um, but I just took the regular um, body comb ball joint 
and uh, super glued it in there with uh, Gorilla Glue, uh, just so that I could position it on the neck well. But it just plugs in there, it's pretty sturdy, which is nice. Um, I talk about this all the time in my live videos, but um, quick shine. I took the figure in this, soaked it in this overnight, literally, literally has held all the um, sturdiness or the, the joint forms pretty great, holds its shape. So uh, just something to put out there. But um, yeah, um, I, I found this from a plant in Hobby Lobby and um, went and super glued that on there too. But I love that it really uh, holds its sturdiness. So you never have to worry about trying to cover them up or something. Um, but it holds its form, which is pretty cool. And it's just a standard body coon. Um, I mean, I guess the only thing you could really do differently than this design is if you were to do, um, I don't know, there are some more of those flesh colored kind of bodies like the one I used from our ulti review. I know they make male forms, but I don't know. I couldn't find a body that was like this frail because he is smaller in size. Uh, it's cool that there is a swivel for the hair. Um, but yeah, I think this way was the, the way to go. Oops. Um, I can't remember where I found these uh, bare feet from or whatever, but I love the articulation is great there. You got a hinge, like look at even this one. Damn, damn, that's articulation. Uh, but you even get the rocker there. Like, geez, this figure's articulation is gonna be dope. But yeah, comment below if there are any details that you think I could have included myself. Uh, I got the Marvel Legend uh, brass knuckles. I went and painted it myself. These came gold. Um, and then I filed down the actual peg to fit inside of the body coon, which is pretty dope. So, all right, let's get into accessories. These are all of the accessories included with my Adam. Um, I have some punching effects there in the back from Cam of Canabeam. Um, really cool dude, uh, but really dope effect. Um, the custom artist also killed it on the custom face sculpts. I got some brass knuckles in the back, um, some apples, alternate hands. Let me know if there's anything else I could have included. Doing a high comparison, here he is compared to my God of Destruction Goku by x -Rolly Animations. And uh, scaling here is pretty great. Um, I mean, it's a body cone. Uh, it's kind of funny thinking, with him being a God of Destruction, does that mean that Adam would hate Goku? <sighs> Everybody's always asking me that question. And it seems now you are too. I don't know, It'd be interesting. But uh, dope matchup. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, who will win in a fight? Here he is compared to my Bestly Studios Kaguya. And uh, scaling here is pretty dope. Um, let me know what you guys think who will win in a matchup between these two. Here he is compared to my custom Demon Slayer Muzan Kibutsuchi. And uh, I made this figure myself. Um, and I used a body coon for this one as well. So uh, scaling here is not that bad. Uh, comment below. Uh, who you think will win in a matchup between these two? That would be a wild fight. And here he is compared to my custom all for one. Um, and um, the scaling here is not that bad. Um, I can't remember the name of the studio who uh, makes those uh, the bodies, but they're 112 scale, six inch size. Um, but yeah, let me know who you guys think will win in a matchup against these two. All in all, this is a dope figure. Thank you so much to the custom artists who helped me put this together. I really appreciate it. Again, I'll link their information in the description. Really don't have any other gripes. Uh, again, comment below if you have any suggestions or anything I could have added to the figure. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for me today, guys. As always, um, I link in the description my cash app if you want to donate. And then I also link my eBay page. So if you want to buy something from Nerd May, check that out. And uh, stay for the photos after the review. And I'll see you guys next week for the next video. Peace.